Hey, welcome everybody. Jeff Frick here with theCUBE. Well, it is an exciting day uh, and we're really happy to be covering it. Big announcements coming out of Google Next today. And we wanted to get right down here to SAP uh, Silicon Valley headquarters and talk to Sam Yen and get his take on what's happening up in San Francisco today. So first off, Sam, great to see you. Yeah, great to see you as well. So Sam, you are the, uh, the managing director of SAP Silicon Valley. Um, obviously you guys have a big presence in Philly and a big presence here um, in Palo Alto and also the chief design officer. So let's just jump into it. So Bernd, uh, Leukert was on stage with Diane Green this morning, uh, kicking off the Google Next conference and talking about this new relationship between SAP yeah. and Google. Yeah, I think, uh, first of all, it's, it's the trend in what the industry is happening right now. If you, if you look at um, companies, companies are more and more willing to go to the public cloud in terms of uh, helping them with their infrastructure needs. Um, the market is actually really going to double between now and 2020. Um, so with that, we have three major announcements that we announced today. You know, the first one was SAP's flagship products running on GCP, Google's cloud platform. Uh, the first one is HANA. If, if you know anything about SAP, HANA has been you know, our data uh, processing engine, right, our right. memory processing engine for the, for the last number of years. It's our flagship um, um, product that we've been talking about, and that's now certified for GCP. Uh, the second thing is really more for the, um, it's still part of the first announcement, but um, for the development community, bringing um, HANA Express, which is a downloadable version of HANA that you can put on your laptop and really kind of get to know what HANA is all about, see how easy it is to develop on top of HANA. So that's um, now available on Google Cloud Launcher. Um, also, SAP's cloud platform is also going to be, uh, we're working to, very closely together uh, to, to co-innovate together with Google on that. The second part of the, uh, the second announcement is um, taking infrastructure as a service to the next level. SAP has always had a multi-cloud strategy offering customers choice and where they wanted to deploy their uh, on, on public cloud. And, uh, and Google is, is now available from that perspective. But beyond just infrastructure as a service, we want to partner with Google to take you know, things like data privacy and protection to the next level right. by offering um, transparency over um, how customers monitor and understand what's going on uh, from a governance, a governance risk and compliance perspective on their information. The last thing, which is really exciting as well, is bringing together productivity tools together with SAP. Google's G Suite, things like mail and sheets and, uh, and hangouts and, and things like that, and making that integrate seamlessly into the SAP backend system as well. So, so many layers to these announcements, and, 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 and thank you for kind of laying it all down. Sure. Um, the first one, just at a high level, is, is clearly enterprises are comfortable with public cloud. I mean, yeah. there's no more enterprise-y software firm out there than SAP, and for you guys to really kind of get together with Google and Google Cloud, um, that really shows that, that the conversation is no longer about should I go to the cloud, or is the cloud safe, or is it appropriate for enterprise, but enterprises are fully all in. That's definitely the trend. You know, I would say you know, customers are, are different kind of in their journey, but uh, more and more we're seeing that, and the, the numbers that I talked about it in terms of the investment and spend uh, for public cloud is, is, is growing through the roof. Um, at the end of the day, SAP, from an SAP perspective, and also from a Google perspective, we want to provide as many options for customers as, as right, we can. Right. Uh, and we think that by doing this, uh, you know, we're providing the best potential solutions for where a customer thinks that they need to be today and tomorrow. Right, and, and it's really about workloads, right? It's not even specifically about customers, because you guys still have Google Cloud, um, or excuse me, <laughs> um, SAP Cloud yeah. recently, uh, the Honda Cloud Platform yeah. uh, recently renamed. So, you know, you still have your own cloud if they want their own, you know, kind of enterprise cloud that you're going to run for them. Obviously, they can run SAP on their own internal cloud. Now you're saying they can run SAP on Google's cloud, so it's but but it's really more workload and application and, and use case specific as opposed to a company. Yeah, and, and I think ultimately options for for the customer in, right. in terms of their their particular situation. Yes, SAP will continue to have our own hosting, uh, our own cloud as well. Uh, but you also mentioned SAP Cloud Platform, so there's you know many many different ways you know from a platform as a service perspective. Enterprise services that we provide from an SAP perspective, running on Google's infrastructure and also leveraging the, the Google services that they provide on their cloud platform as well. Right, and another piece that you said kind of towards the end of, the, of, of, of many, many announcements happening yeah. today is really the developer angle. You know, Every show, we cover 100 shows a year and everyone is fighting for the attention of the developer and, and really trying to cater to the developer because that's yeah. where the power is. And you want a robust developer ecosystem because that's what moves things forward. Yeah. So this is a pretty interesting announcement now that developers can basically download a version of HANA onto their laptop 
to, to, to have an appeal to help them develop more stuff for you. Yeah, and, and I think the, the broader statement here is um, we are combining the power of the SAP eco development ecosystem with the millions and millions of people also in the de Google development ecosystem to build solutions for customers. You know, at right. the end of the day, uh, you know, the, your, 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 this, the power of, of your offering is really the, the, the power of your ecosystem. And uh, it's kind of interesting from you know, being here in a German company actually in Silicon Valley uh, from an SAP perspective, enterprise seems to be the new black right now. You know, right. Um, um, there are um, more kind of consumer brands that are that are looking um, at bringing going into the enterprise, and SAP is starting to become more and more an on ramp into the enterprise for these right. companies. Right. And it's interesting because public clouds traditionally, you know, years ago weren't really thought of as, as a true enterprise solution or maybe test dev, but you know, you never run your production workloads. Right. But clearly now that that's going away. Yes. That said, there's a lot of very specific. Um, issues that you have to deal with with the enterprise, uh, security, compliance, um, you know, the rules around the world that are different for, for, for data sovereignty, et cetera. Yes. So you guys bring a real depth of experience in those areas to this new announcement. Yeah, I, I think that's the power of the partnership, right? If you think about Google and the public cloud, the scalability, the availability, the reach of, of, the, of, of the Google public cloud and their expertise in terms of the infrastructure and the operations, and then you combine that with SAP's experience in terms of you know, what works you know, um, from, a, from, a, from a governance risk and compliance perspective. Right. We have an understanding both with uh, customers and their needs and also working with local governments and the policies that need to be in place. So I think it's a beautiful combination of the, of the two companies. Now, the next kind of big trend that cloud is helping even uh, accelerate more is AI and machine learning. And you know we're kind of going to phase two, uh, phase two of what was uh, formerly known as big data yeah. and Hadoop, but now we're moving to a much more sophisticated version of that, enabled by cloud. Obviously, Google's got a ton of expertise in machine learning and AI. You guys have been doing it on the enterprise side. Again, coming together, one plus one makes three. Absolutely, this is one of the uh, exciting things that we're also, um, uh, we've also talked about and, and announced that we are partnering with Google uh, to really take uh, machine learning uh, to the enterprise use cases, right? There's so much information that's, that's going through enterprise systems, more and more information as, as things like big data and uh, internet of things and, uh, and, and, and social things are bringing I information in. Um, this is a really, really fruitful area where we think there's a lot of collaboration. Also from a design perspective, you know, once you have this information, how do you expose this stuff uh, to the users that makes sense and helps really kind of amplify human capabilities when we're talking about all this technology. Right, so you're sitting uh, 6,000 miles from Waldorf, 3,000 yeah. miles from Philadelphia. Yeah. You know, how does this change things for you? You said you've been at SAP for a number of years now. You know, you're sitting in the heart of Silicon Valley. What does this mean to you kind of personally and to you know, kind of SAP's, SAP's presence uh, in Silicon Valley to do this partnership with you know Google, who's just just right down the road and clearly one of the main powers. Yeah, I, I, I think it it, it really um, talks about the importance of SAP's presence here in Silicon Valley. Again, as an on ramp into the enterprise, uh, there's lots and lots of partners that want to expand their business and, and figure out how they could um, bring their services also to the enterprise. It's almost a consumerization of IT, if you will, um, and, and really kind of that's that's SAP's you know, purpose and reason for being here. All right. Well, Sam, uh, I'll give you the last word. Great event today, really exciting. But uh, before we know it, SAP Sapphire uh, will be upon us. I presume uh, you guys will keep working tomorrow and have something new and special for us at Sapphire? Yeah, yeah, Google and SAP, we're in it for the long term. This is just the beginning. And look look out for, uh, for, for exciting announcements coming in Sapphire as well. All right, super. He's Sam Yen, I'm Jeff Frick. You're watching theCUBE. Thanks for watching.